Hi, I'm Dr. Sonny Haft. I'm an assistant professor within the University of Maryland School of Medicine, Department of Otolaryngology, and I'm an ENT surgeon uh, within the University of Maryland Medical Center. As long as somebody is having an issue from here to here, uh, I'll take a look and try to make it better. And so that involves seeing patients in clinic, uh, even from primary complaints, and all the way up towards solving those issues within the operating room, uh, if need be. The reason that I really love ENT is because it's a intersection of all of our senses and that is a very important thing to people and to be able to give back hearing or voice or smell or taste is very powerful and it's very moving. One of the big populations I see are those with uh, sleep apnea and a lot of patients don't know that if they're not able to tolerate their CPAP that there's actually a surgical op operation or surgical procedure in order to give them a good night's rest and restore their normal sleep. And that procedure is called the hypoglossal nerve stimulator. And it's a very simple outpatient procedure. And it's putting a, a little stimulator on the nerve that goes to the tongue and it brings their tongue forward when they sleep. And they can go from severe sleep apnea all the way down to cure essentially for some patients. I certainly see the whole gamut of of problems that patients have. And there's a big intersection between a lot. So a lot of people don't know that perhaps their hearing difficulties are coming from the nose or the sinuses, or the same thing for voice. It could be coming from the sinuses or nose. And so I really do enjoy treating the entire picture from here to here and, and figuring out what, what is really driving somebody's issue. I did my schooling at University of uh, Pennsylvania School of Medicine in Philadelphia and then I went out and did my surgical, surgical training at University of California San Diego and then following that uh, I came back home here in Maryland uh, to help serve uh, you know the population the people that I grew up with. A lot of what goes on in this area affects people qual quality of life so deeply and a lot of it comes down to a discussion with them about where they want to be, where do they see themselves six months from now, a year from now, and, and how can I help them get there, and what we can do together in collaboration. And sometimes that means just medical treatment, using medicines for them, or sometimes that means doing a surgery that can actually fix that problem and, and get them over the hump that's been keeping them back for sometimes many years.